So in this video, I want to take a non-geo data and turn this into an object. And the reason I want to do this is if I want to show any um, information about each of these points later on, like if I hovered over. And so the first step is to look and see my sketch. And right now I'm already using function draw. And I want all of my uh, details to be in setup. So I actually want to get rid of draw for right now and have something like this. And if I run this, I need to add a background, background 255, and make sure that my closing tags are here and that's correct. And that's linked to that one, that's great. So this basically looks exactly the same. And the reason is I wanna set up my classes to begin with in, um, or my objects to begin with in setup. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a new class uh, that's air data. And then I'm going to make a constructor function, which takes x, y, width, and height, and which is basically the same as this rectangle. So then this dot x will equal x, this dot y will equal y, this dot w. And actually, I might change this since this is like, you know, the, I think about unhealthy air, so. I might say unhealthy. So this dot healthy equals unhealthy. And then this dot h equals h. And then all I need to do is make a show function. So show here. And I'm basically I'm just going to draw a rectangle. So rectangle this dot x, this dot y, this dot unhealthy and this dot h and what's going to happen is it's going to i'm going to set this up so it passes these points from my rectangle which i've already set up here into my constructor function before i do that i need to make an empty array to store all of these objects in so let air equal an empty array and you could call this whatever you want i just think air is nice for here I'm going to come back inside my for loop inside setup and I'm going to just right below here because I'm going to use this as a model say air at i which is what my for loop is so the air is going to um, at each index point is going to be filled with whatever data is at that same row so air equals a new air data And I'm passing to it the x, the y, which we've already established here, x, y. I'm going to pass it this unhealthy data point and h. And I can comment these out here. And I'm going to comment out this text here as well, just for right now. Now I need to fill this with a color. And when I run this, we're not going to see anything. And we're not going to see anything because I have not activated the show function in draw. So I need to come back and now remake my draw function. And use a for loop to cycle through my array while i is less than air dot length. So this checks the length of the array, sees if it reached the end, if it reached the end, it exits the for loop and go through one at a time. And then at each point, I'm gonna do air dot show. And now we should see that pop up. So now you've seen like the basics of getting our element inside an object the next is creating an intersect function to make sure that we see the overlap. 